messed up, but it's honest and it's potent like a moon. You're a bottle, an apartment, girl. I had you, now you're gone. That's why it's. I really hope you guys can't hear that. Like, what, what are you, what are you drilling? I'm gonna try and talk over that. I have to film this today. I don't have any other time slots to film this, so I apologize if that is incredibly annoying. But I'll try and keep the breaks between my words very short, so you don't have to hear it. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel for today's video. I wanted to do my fitness routine with you guys. It's something that I have been filming over the past few weeks. I've been collecting clips here and there of the yoga I've been doing, the workouts I've been doing, and I feel like I've really kind of structured down a routine lately that I've been following. I would say I was trying to follow it while I was in BC. I was following it loosely in BC, but I would say that this has been my routine for about the last month or so. And it's been my favorite phase of my fitness routine for 2018 because one, I feel like I've been sticking to it so much. And two, I feel like this is just like the the most energetic, the most happy I've felt in a while. And so it just feels like it's working. I'm getting better sleep than I was. I'm drinking more water than I was. I'm eating more balanced meals, making like yummy, delicious recipes at home. And my workouts have been a little bit more dynamic, I guess you would say. Is it rude to like pound on the roof? Oh, that's concrete. Damn. Okay, that's aggressive. I don't need to be, I don't need Oh, apparently you don't care. Whatever, we're moving on. So I actually did film this in portions and sections before going to BC, but I never really got a chance to tie it all together. So here I am live from, but not live, um, my office space that I'm only in for like two more weeks, guys. And it's gonna be so funny because I've been filming YouTuber videos in this space, but I've also like know that a lot of the YouTuber videos are waiting to be filmed once I move. It's just like a very hectic time of the year, which leads me back to the fitness routine because I feel like lately my fitness routine, like eating healthy and working out and just kind of staying on top of taking care of myself physically has been one of the biggest things that has helped me manage my stress levels lately in terms of all of the things that have been going on. So lately I have been following this routine that is based on singular days. The reason for this is because I felt like there were so many aspects of fitness that I enjoyed that it was really hard for me to pinpoint exactly how I wanted a routine to follow every single day. I can't do the same things every single day. I, I like to plan things and then I kind of like to live life with abandon. When things get too repetitive for me, I get bored. So I kind of noticed all of the different ways that made me feel really good in terms of my fitness and my health. And then I found a way to incorporate them all into different days so that I was always kind of getting a different balance in life. It's been nice because it's been a different challenge for me. And so every single day kind of has a bit of a different theme. This is also gonna make it so much easier for you guys to kind of translate it into your own lives and make your own adjustments or whatever if you do want to take on my fitness routine or if you're just sitting and lost in the world of YouTube and you somehow stumble upon this video, then hi. Sit back and continue eating your snacks and I'm just gonna sit here and tell you about all the snacks that I've been eating while my neighbor continues to drill. So first things first is Move It Monday, the first day of the week. I always kind of count the first day of the week as Monday rather than Sunday. Move It Mondays is always just like, yes, like the week is starting, the beginning seedings or seedlings or whatever of your week. It's been one of my favorites because it's all about moving your body. I try and do cardio on Mondays. I try and just get up and at them and be super just like energetic. Starting it on a Monday in true just fashion. Ever since I got my Fitbit, which I'm totally not sponsored, but that said, you know Fitbit, I kind of am obsessed with you, so if you do want to sponsor me, wouldn't mind it. Interested in just kind of treating my body almost like an experiment. I'm about to go for a run. I think I'm only going to run five today. I think I'm going to run one of my shorter routes. I have a few routes now in Toronto. I'm going to go sweat out all of my toxins. I also like to use Move It Mondays for another reason, which is funny because it's kind of punny, and it is to eat very good foods for digestion. Very high fiber foods, easy to digest foods, bananas, toast, plain whole wheats, rice, just anything that I find never really kind of messes with the functioning of my body. Things that tend to mess with the functioning of my body are like really heavy sauces, 
high fats and vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower. Those are things that I try and refrain from on Mondays and I just try and get my digestive tract on a good routine like kombuchas and just anything that's gonna help get my body feeling like cleansed and moving like there's no gunk just sitting around in my body because, and we're gonna get to this, but Sunday is usually my takeout day. So I usually wake up Monday just kind of ready to refresh and ready to just enter the week, you know? Monday is also usually my grocery day which makes it super easy to eat healthy at the beginning of the week. Go out and I grab my groceries on Monday. I do my cardio, which is usually running, and then I try and do a stretch after my run. This doesn't need to be like a crazy yoga session. My body starts to feel a little stiff from the run earlier in the day, or if I can't do it during the day, I try and get to it at night, but I just try and stretch out the muscles that I used to run. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my Mondays. Running has been a big exercise for me. I actually used to run all the way back, I can think, to grade 8. It's just something that I like because I don't have to think about it. It's just one foot in front of the other. I can play my music as loud as I want and I run outside because it's so beautiful out right now. So waking up super early in the mornings and going for a run and just like taking in the city before a lot of people are awake and listening to just like new music, whatever I'm really into, it just puts me in such a good headspace and it makes me feel so good. I also like running because it makes me get comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. And so in situations where I'm like, yeah, I'm tired, of course I don't wanna be running. It's not an enjoyable feeling in your body, but it is an adrenaline rush in your body and it is something that you're like, okay, I know I feel uncomfortable, I know my legs hurt, I know I'm out of breath, I'm not, healing over and dying. So it makes you see how far you can push yourself and how far you can accept the feeling of being almost uncomfortable despite knowing that it's doing good for you. Which is why running has become such a big pillar of my fitness routine in the last almost year now. Oh my god, that's crazy. Next up is Tune Up Tuesdays, and this is where my fitness routine has taken a bit more of a change than usual. I kind of stopped incorporating strength training for a while solely because I just kind of fell out of love with it. It wasn't something that I genuinely was excited to do, and sometimes I wake up and I'm still not genuinely excited to do strength training, but it is something that when I'm in the mood, or at least on Tuesdays, I try and just get at least one good, if I know I've not really been feeling the strength training, just like a quick little full body workout or whatever and I try and do these with my body weight so that no matter where I am if I'm traveling if I want to do it here in my apartment if I want to head down to the gym I can do them anywhere if you guys want me to start showing you those like in more depth I can definitely do that I started to section things off just a little bit but it's very simple it's usually like upper body lower body I feel like working my booty today but you can't really necessarily target on your booty without working your legs and then it's pretty much just a lower body day abs ie top half and then yoga does a a lot of that for me with doing handstands and working on my arm stands and headstands and all of that fun stuff and just even just the way you have to kind of hold your body during yoga that's something that I feel like kind of works out my shoulders and arms enough. Tune Up Tuesdays are also all about getting in that good stretch slash dance. This is just like flow. I like to just flow sometimes where if, even if I'm not really feeling like doing a full on yoga session to something really slow and dreamy, I'll put on something a little bit more upbeat, throw on my headphones and kind of dance around my apartment. But anything that makes me feel like I'm flowing, if that makes any sense whatsoever, it's just a matter of you're doing something and you're just like, yes, I am so so presently here right now and dancing is a huge thing for me when it comes to that so I'm not a professional dancer by any means not even close I just like to dance shamelessly around my apartment with my headphones in and I'm not kidding you I'll do this for like 35 minutes like I'm sweating by the end of it it's one of my favorite ways to just like move my body and I like to do that on tune up Tuesdays too because even though I like my strength training my strength training is usually like 15 20 minutes tops because I don't love it but I do love to dance or I do love love to do yoga or I do love to flow, you know? And then in terms of food, I just try and eat, again, a more balanced whole foods, but I'm not too strict about like what specific foods I eat on what day. Beginning of the week, I just try and eat as healthy as possible, you know, like whole foods from the earth. I just try and ask myself like, where did this come from? Was it from a farm or a factory? Is my body going to understand what this is or is it gonna be confused by all the ingredients? I don't know how to even pronounce. Moving on to work at Wednesdays. Work at Wednesdays are like that hump day in the week and you just need to like power through the rest and know that the weekend is coming. And so work at Wednesdays are always just about just like working it, just, just feeling good. No, I'm gonna have a hearty meal that day. I try and eat higher protein on Wednesdays, don't ask me why. I just felt like every now and then I crave like a good heavy protein meal, whether it be tofu and chickpeas or whatever it is. And so 
On Wednesdays, I like to do my cardio and a yoga session. I usually go running and then I section off like 30 minutes to just get really into it, really stretch out those running muscles. And then I have like a really hearty meal that day. Any day I do cardio, I get a runner's size. So I'm just like super happy all day long. <laughs> Next is Thirsty Thursdays, which I decided to make a day that I focus very heavily on making sure I'm getting my water consumption. Even though I do try and drink enough water every single day, I just make sure that I'm starting my weekend or prepping my weekend with enough water. So definitely try and take into account how much water I've been drinking throughout the week. Should I be drinking a little bit more that day or what? But I've been doing really good on water, so Thirsty Thursdays haven't been as necessary, you know? This is also when I try and bring in a nice juice or smoothie in the morning. I try and again just cleanse my body to get ready for the weekend because I eat a lot more junk and I go out to eat and stuff on the weekend so the, the thirst you know you want your juices you want your smoothies and this is also when I like to do a very serious yoga session and if I'm feeling it I'll throw in another strength training so Thursdays especially I just chunk out whatever time I feel like I need to just play with yoga to just try out new things try out some more difficult stands that I haven't been able to do before and just really kind of connect I guess with the mat and just flow again it's just all about the flow you know I feel like the way I'm pitching all of this right now is probably sounding so complicated, but it really truly isn't. It's just basic means of breaking it down to moving my body every day, eating relatively healthy every day aside from the weekend, and another part that I haven't mentioned yet, but meditating every day. It's just those three things, as long as I get those in, I'm usually pretty good. If I decide to on Thursdays, sometimes I'll strength train, but mostly it's just about moving my body in some way, and as long as it's not cardio, because if I do cardio every day, I would just be like dead. And if you're an OG on my channel, you're gonna love what Friday is all about because it's called Fitness Fridays. If you guys remember Fitness Fridays, please leave a comment down below. That used to be a thing on my channel where I'd post a fitness related video every single Friday. And Fitness Fridays, I get my good run in. That is like my workout of choice. That is when I feel like after a good run, I've really worked out to my full exertion, you know? So I've been trying to increase my run to a 10K. So lately, instead of running five, I've been trying to run anywhere between six and eight Eight, and I'm hoping to get up to 10 for the Terry Fox walk, but that might be aggressive because it's only like a month away. I also like to just get a good stretch in. It doesn't necessarily need to be like a yoga stretch. It just needs to be stretching out the running muscles again before the weekend starts, loosening up my bones because I'm probably going to have wine that night. And again, just keeping with eating whole foods, balanced foods, and trying not to get takeout on Friday because not even just for fitness related reasons I'm also trying to crack down on my budget right now and so with budgeting myself I've told myself that Saturdays or Sundays I'm allowed to have either like a takeout meal or go out to eat or whatever so I try and refrain from it on Fridays I try and eat at home and then meet people out for wine What are they doing? Literally bowling balls. That's what it sounds like. One minute, 37 seconds later. And my camera died. Which brings us to sizzling Saturdays. Saturdays are usually just like an optional workout if I'm feeling it. If I have extra energy that day or if I'm with somebody or hanging out with somebody that wants to do something a little bit more active, like go for a walk, go for a hike, go for a run. Um, bike. I like to bike a lot on the weekends. I tend to bike everywhere in Toronto now, so I kind of get active in that way. But Saturday is just more so of like a lifestyle workout, or if I'm really feeling like it or missed a workout throughout the week, sometimes I'll work out then instead. I don't ever tell myself I have to work out on the weekend, so I feel like that weekend is that time to not feel so structured. So even though I have like specific days, sizzling Saturdays and simmer Sundays, I try not to make them very like too rigid, you know, so that I can feel like sizzling Saturdays could even just be not doing anything aside from sizzling food on a grill. I'm, I'm not explaining this correctly, just getting out and like sizzling, you know, just like outside, just do things outdoors, sizzle hot. In my shower routine, I'll book my waxes sometimes on Saturdays. Sometimes I put on like fake tanner, I'll do hair masks, I'll do face masks. Those are like my sizzle Saturdays, you know, during the day, which brings me into Simmer Sundays. And Simmer Sundays is just gisting. It's literally, in terms of my fitness routine, it is the day that I don't necessarily have anything to do. Most of the times on Sundays, I it's for some reason one of my favorite days to do yoga. I think just because of the feel and the vibe of a Sunday. It's always just so slow and relaxed and chill. And so it might not be like a crazy yoga routine. It's more so of like a relaxing yoga. Get my takeout meal. Most of the time, Sunday, 
after I'm done cleaning and everything, I usually kind of order Uber Eats, usually some Thai food, and eat my like comfort meal of the week. And then I feel like I had my good week and like my, my treasure at the end on Sunday night of like ordering Saigon Lotus and just stuffing my face with Pad Thai. Making me just feel like accomplished and good to start the week all over with another move at Monday. And I guess something too that I didn't really mention throughout all of this is using my watch to track things. So when I have been tracking my water, that's how I see come Thirsty Thursday, okay, how have I been doing this week in terms of getting my water? This week, if you go onto my Fitbit app, it'll show you that I've been hitting my water goal every single day because I've been making it like the theme of the week. You'll see here, hitting all the water goals, but last week, not so much. And I also use my Fitbit app to track my sleep, which is another thing that is made it really easy to make sure that I'm getting enough sleep, finding out how much sleep it takes for my body to actually feel well rested, and getting a bit more into a routine in that aspect. It even tells me when I'm getting deep sleep versus when I'm in REM, which is where I'm dreaming, which is always super interesting to me because when I wake up from a dream and I see that I was dreaming on the map, I'm like, where were all those other dreams that I don't remember? It's a weird thought, but it really truly bothers me. I wish I could record my mind as I slept. And it records my steps and stuff, so it just makes me more active, you know? If I do anything for longer than 30 minutes, it automatically tracks it, including biking, so it's just become like my best friend. And no, I'm not sponsored, I just literally love my watch. And so that has pretty much been my fitness routine lately. This is just a fun way for me to categorize everything. I, I like having themes, I like having names that flow. So that's why every day kind of has a certain vibe or a certain feel to it. And it makes it easy so like I said, I can hit all of the points in being healthy and being fit, I guess you could say. Like making sure Thirsty Thursdays I'm checking in on my water consumption. Work at Wednesdays, I'm getting that like hearty protein. Move at Mondays, I'm getting everything moving again. <laughs> and doing it that way has made it so that I just feel more at ease with everything. I feel like more trusting of the choices that I make and I also feel like taking the stress out of it has made it so that my sleep has even gotten better, which is a 2018 struggle of mine. Sleep has been one of those things, and lately I've been falling asleep because I'm actually tired at the end of the day. My body feels like it's been nourished, it's gotten its water, it's gotten its movement, and so when I do lay down to rest at night, I've been actually falling asleep, like right away, which has been one of the best accomplishments I have made as of recent. Sad but true. My body has gone through so much transformation. I've seen it at its worst and I've seen it progress towards being better. But ultimately at the end of the day, I think for me, it's all about how I feel internally. And when I look to that in all given situations, the answer is always easy. When I started to notice when I felt more alive and when I felt more happy and just like when laughs come easier, energy comes easier, and being around things and being around people and pushing myself out to do things, I think that all kind of coils back to how we take care of ourselves. And if we're not taking care of ourselves, then we're not gonna have the energy to get out there and go live our lives. We're not gonna feel good about ourselves, even good down to ourselves. When you're not drinking enough water, you're not eating whole balanced meals, it does affect the way that our bodies run and it affects the way that we live our lives on a day-to-day -day basis, even if we don't notice it. And so when I started to become more aware of what foods made me feel what way, what workouts made me feel what way, what was my best way of stress relief, when my body is saying, okay, you're pushing me too hard, or when my body is saying you're not pushing me enough. And finding that balance has been such a roller coaster. Also taking care of ourselves mentally and taking care of like our emotions. It was the times this year that my emotions were running at their highest that I was at my unhealthiest. And so in becoming aware of that and in taking into account all of the things that kind of make up who we are, what we are, and what our lives are, I think i finally come to a place in my life that I just feel good about where I'm at. I feel really good going into this new chapter of my life with this move and this new apartment and heading into Utober, which is usually a very fun but stressful time in my life. This taking care of myself at the end of the day and doing the best I can with all things, not just my fitness routine, I feel really good and I feel really optimistic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little fitness routine. I'm either gonna write it up in the description box below or I'm gonna post it onto my blog. And with that, I love you guys to the stars and back and I will see you guys all in my next video. God bless that my neighbors stopped drilling. Bye guys. Miss you.